getting a little chillier nowadays of having to wear my long sleeve shirt down here in the basement. Or the better known as Dale's Workshop. But welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Uh, Mr. Big Vic sent me some tools recently. So one of them was this little, uh, these are called Cameron. They're, that's the brand name. And they're, I call either duck bill or flat bill pliers. They, um, they have a significant use for that flat bill. So I'm finding that I need that more and more. So I'm going to restore those today and get these in good working condition. And so just hang around, we'll get her done. You know, in my other video with the two haul, I showed you these Kimmer line wrenches. I think I got about six of them over there. And I really haven't been able to find any information on these. So if you can, you know, enlighten me where these came from. Seems like I was able to find something on there that, that gave me the idea that they were at one time Mac. Maybe they were Kimmer before they were Mac. I don't know. Maybe the Mac has nothing to do with it. If you know anything, please leave a comment down in the, in the comment section. Well, so these are what we're going to be restoring today. These are, brand name is Cameron, made in USA. They are, I guess you would call flat blade. I've heard them called duckbill. Maybe some other names out there that you know of that I don't. They're going to be serving, you know, special purpose for me. And uh, I need the, the wide part of the blade. So we're going to restore these and get them back to in good working condition. And uh, so just uh, kind of hang around and uh, let's see what happens. There's a little bit of pitting right here, and the edges are a little sharp, so I'm going to kind of ease that a bit. There's a little bit of rust and stuff in here I can't get to. And so I think I'm gonna let it soak overnight in the vapor rust. See you in the morning. Well, I've just taken it out of the vapor rust. Looks like pretty much all of the rust is gone. What I'm do now is hit it with a wire brush and see if we can get this dark color off of here, which is common when you put it in a vapor rust. So they look nice. I like them dark. I may even consider that.
So let's prepare this uh, for bluing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and blue the whole thing. I just think they'll look better. This is a cleaner degreaser. Thought it might be important to put that on there first to get it nice and clean. Had to get me a glove, didn't want to get it on my hand. I've got the liquid, but uh, last time I used this, I liked the way that it uh, performed better than the liquid. So, Let's see what it does. I said leave it on for 30 to 60 seconds and then, and then take it off. So I'll be right back. Well, you can see it looks uh, nice. Still got a little bit of shine in there. Still, still dark, not as dark, but I like it. Well, I'm gonna do the handles and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, I went ahead and put another coat of bluing on here and now you can see they're much darker and they're smooth. I've been wanting to get these done so I can get them out and use them. I like the, the wide bill. So now we're going to put a coat of wax on it. And I think we'll call it done. Uh, this is what I use, Perma Blue, uh, birch wood. Oh, I like this good. It, it, it gives me that dark look that I want. Sometimes a little bit better than the liquid. At least in, in my findings. And uh, so... Let's get a little bit of wax on this rascal. Oops. <clears throat> so, there you are. They are done, and they're protected. They're going to give me some use for quite a while. Thank you, Big Vic. I appreciate that. And um, guys, if you would, appreciate a subscribe. Uh, all you got to do is just go up there and hit that thing. Don't cost you anything. We are getting pretty close to 600. So uh, my goal is uh, 1,000 by, by the end of the year. And I think we can, with your help, I can get there. When we hit a thousand, I'll do some type of giveaway and uh, a celebration. And I might even go buy some Kona coffee. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.